hi guys you're welcome back to the prestigious hair your one-stop channel for beautiful lovely and protective hairstyles today's video is a simple hairstyle i'm going to be making and i want you to walk through with me on this hairstyle it's called the bantu knot hairstyle and i'm going to be using just my hair alone usually this bantu knot can be done either with your hair or you can add in some bridge extension to make it firmer to make it look good and cute and trust me it's a hairstyle that i would highly recommend for any one of my beautiful ladies out there so watch me as i do mine on my hair it's very simple and pretty we've already started one and i decided to share the video with you so come along with me firstly you section your hair into parts and you start off by braiding those little sections you have cut into little strands of hair as you're seen in the video then it is being twisted to the tip and you start rolling round the hair from the top to the bottom yes so that you can hide that last, last strand of the hair at the bottom of the bantu knot that is the idea starting from the down you can actually still get your bantu knot but what is going to be happening to the last strand of the hair that is the question so that is why it's being started off from down and you twist and roll just down and so i can hide that last tip on the other bantu knot and voila the second one is done we're going to be using the triangle cutting or a triangle pattern of um, cutting for this hairstyle just to give you that extra beautiful look now we did not have any um this was an impromptu tutorial video so i didn't really come along with my um tripod stand but i'm doing the little i can do with <laughs> a makeshift ring light and my phone so you can see that she has sectioned this other part again into the triangle pattern is weaving or braiding little strands again she prefers to weave and drop and weave and drop before coming back to create the bouncing knot and you're going to see that for every part of this hair you just have to repeat the same process by weaving but make sure to get the same portion of cutting when creating your um, bantu knot one shouldn't be bigger than the other most likely the center parts can actually be a little bit bigger because that's where the higher chunk of hair is found on her head but apart from that you should continue with every the same size of hair my brother is being goofy here and trying to show her face <laughs> and i can't help but because I was asking her why she was laughing and I saw what she did here <laughs> um, we're just having a little girl's gist while making this hair and you can see that your braiding has to start from the up again all the way down I was asking her why she wants to feature in the video and I don't know if you can see I was trying my best to show you guys that part is already done this is another pattern or this is another cut of the hair and we are going to be doing same thing yes i took it a bit closer for you to see now some people prefer to add braids extension to look chunkier to make it look bigger and give that african queen vibes and some people even prefer to braid down from the um, tip of their ear down to the front of their face or the side of their face rather but i just decided to keep mine simple by using my hair i'm going to be braiding subsequently go for this hairstyle i do not want any extension or any attachment to it i just needed something simple and trust me this hairstyle wasn't painful at all because i felt that it was going to be painful but i think the trick is not adding a good extension to it so not 
understanding anything that is going to strain your scalp. Now we are done with the back part and this is the front. We're going to start cutting from the front of the hair down. She's doing it line by line and cut down to the back of my head. Again. She's using um, some form of braiding gel to just keep my edges in stay so that those little little flyaways are going to behave and stick with the bantu notes rather than just flying away and showing the little strands off when we are done making the bantu notes. This is a great protective hairstyle if you ask me for those people that have a fragile hair or fragile scalp and you don't want anything that would make your hair break off or something. This is simple. This twist is not as um, tight as you may think it is so you have nothing to fear about it's pretty much braiding your hair and just wrapping it round round and round each other now look at the braiding gel that helped to keep my edges in control just see smoothing it off the little braid or little weaving the triangle pattern has begun to come off to play and it's showing I'm loving it because you could see me nothing. I'm someone who really don't like spending so much time on the braided seats. But if you really love doing that, there are lots of other hairstyles here on the precious hair you can go through. This is for a simple one hour. This was less than an hour. Yes, it was less than an hour hairstyle. And it saved me a whole lot of time. Thank you.
guys this is the finished look of my hair and i'm loving it just simple and easy the way i want it make sure you like drop your comments on what next you want to see on the prestigious hair and don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications and follow us on our other social media handles